Now, hey, this video is going to show how to make an entry level resume. This is going to be perfect if you're just coming out of high school, just coming out of college, and you don't have a ton of full time work experience. And this is what it's going to look like. So, you're going to start with a blank Word document here. First thing that you're going to want to do is update the normal style. You can right click it and just change the font. Um, you can keep it as Calibri, that's totally fine. I like to choose Verdana here and put it at font size 10. I think it works a little bit better. Another thing I like to do is if you go up to this layout tab here, you can click the margins drop down and select narrow and that'll put it at half inch margins. That just gives you a little bit more room to add information on your resume. And now we need to put in contact information. So I go to insert and then I add a two by one table. Um, and I also uh, I like to come to this layout tab here and do cell margins down to zero on the left and right. And what that's going to do is just make sure that the words in there are flush with the margin of the page. So in this left box, you're going to put your full name. And then in the right box, you want to put your contact information. Typically on a resume, that's phone number, email address, and street address. Uh, you can choose not to put street address if you have privacy concerns. Um, you can still put city and state. Um, but you're going to rank a little bit better as far as resume scanners if you have your full address there. All right, cool, so now we need to fix the layout. So you can see there's this align bottom right under the layout tab. And in the left column here, we're gonna do a align bottom left. And so now when I bump up the font size for my name here, everything is flush with the bottom of this table. And typically like font size 28 is pretty good for a name, 26 just depends on the length of your name. And I don't want this border around the table. So if I highlight the table, uh, I can come under table design tab up here and click borders and say no border. Great, and just like that, I've got a clean section for my contact information. So the next thing you need to do, since you don't have a ton of work experience, is kind of sell yourself. And this is where I like to put in a quick paragraph that kind of explains who I am, uh, why I think I'm a good fit for this position, and probably most importantly, how I think I can help that company. Um, this is essentially like the elevator pitch for yourself or a really condensed version of your cover letter. But the main thing to focus on is how your skills and experience can help this company. All right, and then you're gonna hit enter a couple times and you're gonna start adding sections for your education and experience. So we're gonna uh, make sure there's at least one line and then type the word education in all caps. And then you're gonna hit enter twice and you're gonna type the word experience in all caps and hit enter once. Now highlight education and bump that font size up. I think 18 is a pretty good font size for this. And then we're gonna add a bottom border that just sets aside this section of the resume. And then we'll add some line spacing above and below. So I like to put 12 point above, 12 point below. It gives it a little bit of room to breathe. And now I don't want you to have to go through all that again. So if you double click education and hit this format painter, you can just click experience and boom it inherits all the same styles. So first thing you're gonna do is put your most recent education in here. So for this one, I'm gonna say I graduated in a certain month and year. If I haven't graduated yet, I can put graduating. Um, this is all kind of up to you. You can just get rid of that word entirely if you want. But uh, for this example, we're gonna assume that you graduated in a certain year. So we're gonna do that. And then we wanna put some space and then put our description. So if you click the two up here, in the ruler, that'll put a tab stop. Now, if the ruler's not showing up for you, you can go to view in the very top bar and then click ruler and that'll show up. Awesome, so now hitting tab will place my cursor at that tab stop and in bold font, I'm gonna put either the degree or certificate that I earned or am going to earn and then I'll get rid of bold font, put a comma and then put my school name or my university name. And then you're going to put the city and state. And now if I hit enter and hit tab again, it's going to place my cursor at that tab stop. And then I can click the bullet list option here and that'll insert a bullet list there. All right, and since this is an entry level resume, we're obviously putting education first because that is our probably our most recent and our most focused experience. Um, and you can see I'm putting bullet points here that are past tense. Um, 
those are typically a little bit easier for recruiters to read, especially if you have multiple entries because then they're not switching back and forth between past and present tense. But the main thing I want to do here is emphasize keywords that match the job description or field that I'm applying in. Um, and that's going to help my resume rank better. Now I have to make sure that these are actually applicable to my education and experience um, and that I'm not just making it up because uh, that's illegal. It's called fraud. Um, the other thing I want to do is address specific accomplishments uh, that I would feel comfortable talking about in a job interview and that I'm proud of. So another thing you want to do is highlight certain projects you worked on that uh, either match responsibilities of the job you're applying to um, or are pretty closely correlated and you want to word them in a similar way uh, to the job posting itself. Again, you can't make stuff up, but there is a lot of power in making sure that your wording is similar. And after you've got your education entered here, and you can enter as many bullet points as you want, I just wouldn't go above about seven probably, um, seven or eight. Uh, we're going to go focus on the work experience. Now, I realize as an entry-level resume, this might be kind of hard because you might not have a lot of this, but remember that you can put internships, you can put part-time work, you can put volunteering that you've done in the past. All of that is going to be really good here, especially if it directly matches some of the keywords, some of the responsibilities of the job you're applying to. And just like education, you want to start with your most recent first. You can see I entered a tab stop again by clicking two up in the ruler, and I'm going to follow the same format here. So job title or position title in bold, company or organization, not bold, and then I'll put the city and state. You might have some trouble thinking of things from your past experience that match the job you're applying to, um, but you can focus on soft skills if you need to here. Um, and it's just important to kind of follow the same example as above where you're using keywords that match the job posting if you can, uh, wording that is used in the job description that you're applying to. And you also want to make sure that you're using action verbs here. So starting each bullet point, uh, in the education and work experience section with an action verb kind of implies that you get things done, that you're an action-oriented employee. And you can keep this section short for each bit of work experience, especially if it's not directly related. Don't feel like you have to load this up with bullet points because I'm going to show you another trick here in a second where we can actually add a skills section. Uh, but if I need to add extra work experience under this one, the cool thing now that I've done all that formatting is I can just copy this, hit enter a couple times, and paste it. And then I just have to update the dates, update the job title, description, all that stuff. But the formatting is already done for me, which is super nice. So if you're looking at your resume and you're thinking, oh, this is kind of short, I don't know if anyone's going to hire me, remember A of all, you want to keep it under one page. But B of all, if you feel like between this kind of introductory paragraph and your education and work experience, that it's not going to be a good enough match or that it's not highlighting your skills enough, uh, we can go ahead and actually add in a skills section here. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So up here above the word education, uh, you just want to hit enter a couple times, make sure you've got, you know, a little bit of room here to play around. And then you're going to type in the word skills in all caps. So now if you click on the word education and then click the format painter tool, all you have to do is click skills and boom, it's formatted just like all the other sections. So here we're going to insert a three by one table. And then under layout over here, we're going to put the cell margins at zero on the left or right. Again, that's just so everything is flush with the margins of the page. Great. And then while I'm in this leftmost box, I'm going to click the bullet point button up here. And that's going to add some bullet points. And here, all I'm doing is inserting keywords that match the job description or the field that I'm applying to. And again, make sure you actually have these skills. You can't just load up with a bunch of keywords. Um, you have to actually have these. Otherwise, yeah, it's fraud. That's no bueno. Um, and if I highlight this whole table under table design, I can get rid of the borders. And having this section here fills out the resume a bit more, but it also lets me match a little bit more with keywords from the job post, which is super nice and will help me when the scanning systems pick up my resume. So that's your basic entry level resume. I hope you found this video useful. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe. It really helps support this channel 
and I wish you the best of luck in your job search. Go get it.